Uh, if you had 2 to the 500, you'd far exceed 500 qubits. The number of numbers you need to describe that system exceeds the number of atoms in the observable universe. But it's a thing that we can build. We can build just about. We're not far off being able to con conceive, at least, of a network of 500 qubits. They're physical things. They, they're kind of like that big, some of them, right? So you have 500 of them in this room. Um, so th the power that's hidden in the description of a system like that is immense. And the thing that a quantum computer does is it uses that power, some of that power, some of that vast computational or configurational power of the thing. Very, very difficult to do. And we've not been able to do it particularly well at the moment. You'll read many papers online where obviously companies like Google, Microsoft, IBM are investing a lot of money in these devices because potentially they are that they can carry out computations that no conceivable classical computer could make within the lifetime of the universe because of this tremendous freedom in the description of the structure of the system.